Hello, sir. Good morning. Okay, sir. I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. As I was praying in the night, I felt a nudge in my spirit to hear you speak. I guess I was also a little bit impatient with you on the phone. Yes, sir. Thank you for giving me holding, sir. Sir, I know I have sinned against God by allowing myself to fall into that temptation. So I quite understand your position about not conducting the wedding for all, sir. Well, you also said yesterday that you are not responsible for that pregnancy. And in the same breath, you agreed that you slept with her. Isn't that amb ambiguous? Yes, sir. It may be difficult to believe. But the, the truth is, if Runke is six weeks pregnant, then the baby is not mine. Uh, no. How do you mean? Sir. Today is August 16th. Exactly four weeks we slept together in my house. I still don't understand you. It simply means Ronke was two weeks pregnant already before she came to my house that night. Are you sure of what you are telling me? Yes. Sir. Will she confirm this? That is just this, sir. I'm not sure she'll be able to confirm it. Because she came to my house this morning with my parents. I'm hoping they lied against me. That we slept together three times in their presence. It's a pity, brother, that you even allowed yourself to fall into that kind of temptation in the first instance. That single night has marred your testimonies. I, I, I know, sir. I know. It's also going to be very, very difficult to convince anybody that you are not responsible for that pregnancy. That was one night too many. I know, sir. Who raped my daughter? Uh, me? Yes. Uh, please, can you come with me? me? Back at the wedding, yes, that is it. You uh, raped uh, your daughter? Let's go, let's go. Why are you talking to your daughter? Elder! Elder! The case is not like that. I'm not saying, 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 I'm not
that was arrested and brought in here today. Who? His name is Kule Anjola. That man, where did he bring this afternoon? Where they say run away from wedding? Ah! Where did somebody oh, get no time? Okay, okay. 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 So, sorry, officers. Sorry. Please, put a weary pin for Dagis. I know them. He, he, he did not rape her. Okay. We don't carry the court, the case. We don't carry a go court. Rape will be serious offense. You don't know say now seven years for, for prison. Oh. Now serious offense. But, but, but that is not true. Please, officers, it's not true. That is not true. Okay, can we see the DPO? Is the DPO? Yes, sir. Tell him you have some visitors. Please what's the means. I'm Pastor Anthony. There shouldn't be rape in this matter. Help us. Well, actually, this case is becoming complicated. It's rather complicated because um, from the reports that have gotten to us, after the rape incident, this man agreed to marry the lady in question. On hearing the news that the woman was pregnant, this man refused to go on with the wedding plans. After lots of preparation and announcements have been made. DPO, we appreciate your careful explanations. But you see, rape incidents shouldn't come in at all. These people actually came to me that they wanted to get married. I see. Yes. I see. They are members of my church. Like I said, this this case is a bit complicated. Um, but Pastor, you know what I will advise you? I will advise that you get a good lawyer that can defend this man in court. Because this case, unfortunately, has already been charged to court. Ah! Hmm. Well, thank you all the same. But, has it gone this bad? Unfortunately, yes. 
Okay. But can we be allowed to see him? Oh, of course, of course, of course. Uh, let me call someone who will lead you to him. It's rather unfortunate, but... Uh... Yes, sir. Uh, take these people to the man in cell two. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank right, you. Sir. Have a... Have a nice... Good girl. 
Thank you. Thank you. Now you call that if you need, right? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Alice. What is it? The pastor is here. He asks of you. The yes. pastor? Yes, Dad. He's waiting in the living room. Uh, tell him I will see him later. As you can see, I'm busy. See me. Okay, afternoon, Ronke. Do you mind if I have some words with you? Of course not. Then please sit down. Sir, I hope it's not of the matter of only. Because I've been instructed not to say anything until I see my lawyer. Hmm. Well, um, he told me that it was only one night that he slept with you in his house. And that was July 16th. He's lying about that. We met together three times. And the July 16th was a third time. Then why is the police charging him for rape? Well, I'm already violating a given instruction. I'm not to say anything until my lawyer comes. Okay. That young man has been badly humiliated at the police station. Please look at me. Now, can you say bluntly before God that that baby you are carrying in your womb belongs to Kunle? I refuse to answer any further questions. I will answer any question. Do cross examinations in the court? 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 Now, do you have to go to this extent? What do you have to gain in all this? Okay. Well, how about your work? Fine, thank you. Can you excuse me, sir? I'd like to go back to some work I was doing before. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. In everything you do, I want you to think about heaven. Because it's heaven that matters. No other thing. Okay? Thank you, sir. Our pastor, sorry for keeping you waiting. Thank you, Elder William. Thank you for agreeing to see me. I have come to appeal to you on behalf of that young man, Kunle. Please, withdraw the case from the court. Please. Pastor, with all due respect, be one of your church elders apart. You are trying to insult my sensibility. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Elder, please. I am really sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Please pardon me. A man impregnated my daughter. After promising to marry her, then turn around again to deny the ownership of the pregnancy. And worse still, 
backed out of the wedding plans after all friends and relatives have been daily informed. Oh my God. That type of man is wicked. And his feet are nowhere held but behind the bars. And you still come to please boys, release? Elder Williams. No, Pastor. Please listen to me. Now, charging that young man to court will further widen the gap between the two of them. Now, if you decide to put him behind the bars, that, can, that cannot be the solution to the problem. It can only destroy the love they have for one another and create further hatred being between them. In my own esteem, the young man may still contemplate changing his mind. You know, I'm going for the wedding plan, but he, the way he has been humiliated openly at the police station, you need to see him. It's difficult for man to still decide to go ahead with the wedding plans. And that's why I have come here. I never told them to maltreat him, Pastor. That young man has been seriously humiliated and emotionally traumatized. I, 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 I don't see how such a young man can still, under the present circumstance, decide to take the same girl to the altar. Not if the love is still there. A man can do anything for the sake of love. Love? Elder Williams' love? No, no. Do you think there is still love between those two people? Oh. Don't flog a dead horse. My daughter carries his baby in her womb, Pastor. <laughs> well, you have made a valuable point. It's of no use trying to glue a piece of wood and a lot of iron together. I agree. The two of them might not marry each other again. But she's pregnant for him. <laughs> Elder, seriously, between you and I, who amongst those two people do you think is saying the truth? A sensible girl, we always know who owns a pregnancy. Well, and that is if the truth will not destabilize our comfort. Are you now suggesting that my daughter might not be telling the truth? Oh, no, 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 no. But all the same, I am only suggesting us looking at that direction as well. May I be allowed to call your daughter, please? <laughs> okay. Alice! Alice! Yes, Daddy! Go and call and get for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, good. The pastor called you. Yes, please, okay. <clears throat> um, we need to s find a solution to this whole crisis. And that's why I need your cooperation. You will answer just one question, and that promptly. Go on, Pastor. I'm listening. I am a servant of God, and I represent His kingdom in this case. Now, don't you think again? Oh, no, 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 Pastor, don't go in that direction again. Any sensible girl of my age will know whoever is responsible for her pregnancy. I am sorry, Ronke. I'm sorry to upset you. Now, but don't you think there is a world of difference between knowledge and truth? You may know something and may not accept it. Okay. In this circumstance, I know and I'm saying the truth. That July 16 was the third time Kule would sleep with you. Yes. That you did not discover that you were pregnant before you went to his house on that night. Yes. And that you could say before God, your creator, that that baby you carry in your room is Kule's flesh and blood. Can you say that before God? Yes. Hmm. I apologize for 
all the inconveniences this crisis have brought you. But all the same, thank you for giving me audience.
money. Uh, you see, um, <coughs> uh, the letter actually came from the corporate headquarters uh, yesterday. Um, well, uh, it's not only for you. Two other staffers of the uh, company were affected. Two clerks, two clerks were affected. With trench mates? Yes. Uh, you see, you need to understand what is happening. You see, the conglomerate is undergoing certain reforms, you know, and uh, there are some reorganizations taking place from the corporate headquarters, and that has necessitated the downsizing of the uh, staff strength of the organization. So, um, I'm sorry. I'm so you are sorry? My wedding is supposed to... Oh. Terrible storm. What storm? Is your wedding not holding again? Oh, that single night I spent with you overnight has destroyed my future. You took away my future from me and gave me an employment that never lasted. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't understand what you mean by that single night. I, I don't. You? You mean, you don't know why you made me sleep with you overnight? In order to give me this employment? You! You ruined my life and sent me packing! You have ruined my life! Miss Williams! You! Miss Williams! You! Miss Williams! You! Miss Williams! You! Will you stop that? You! You have ruined my life! Miss Williams, stop! You have ruined my life! Miss Williams, get your hands off me! You have ruined my life! Get your hands off me! You have ruined my life! Get your hands off me now! I said, what's, what's the problem, sir? Please, get the security man for me. Okay, sir. Get the security man for me, okay, sir. You ruined my life! You ruined my life! He, 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 he gave me this employment. I, I took away my future from me. You have destroyed my life. I don't understand. I am not the one who sacked you. I don't understand what you're talking about. I did not take anything from you. Leave you me. You have ruined my life. I'm you have ruined my life. Okay. You have ruined yeah, my life. Get out. Get, get out. out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You have you. Get out. You have ruined my life. You. You, you have ruined my life. You have ruined my life. See this trouble. See this trouble. The moment she got the sack letter, she went wild. Eh? I, 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 am I the one who sent the letter from the corporate headquarters? Am I the one? He has killed my life. He has killed my life. Go ahead. Go. He has killed my life. Go. Go and tell me. He has killed my life. He has killed my life. Sir, her bag is still in the office, sir. And get everything and give it to the security man. Tell her to give it to her and let her not come to this company again. Okay, sir. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, sir. You can go to your office. Madam, you must take things as you see. Please, please, madam. 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 Please, please, me for one night and destroyed my wedding. Let me release Pile. I am Iris Kingsley. It's not Kule that should be arrested. Oh, Kingsley. Oh, Kule, I'm sorry. Kingsley, Kingsley, may you rot in hell. You are free my life! 
do what you said. But it has to be with the consent of my daughter. <laughs> she has insisted that Kule is responsible for the pregnancy. I must be punished for denying it. I'm backing out of the wedding. We've been to the police station. Yes. And the condition we found the boy was not good. Oh, no. Please, Elder. My son has been seriously humiliated. Mm -hmm. I beg you. Look, look, look. My daughter too is demoralized and humiliated. Hey? Your son impregnated her and denied it. He didn't even back out of the wedding plan. Imagine the disgrace and shame. We have to send information to people telling them that we have postponed the wedding. Is that not enough embarrassment? Mrs. Williams. Hey? Mrs. Angela. Let's calm down. We have to find an immediate solution. First, let's get that young man out of the police cell and then we can seek for further settlement. Sorry, I can't do that behind her. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not possible. We have to find a way of talking her into agreeing with that plan. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, this is Elder uh, Williams. And what is this? Eh? That was. What did you say? Wrong cat. Behave you strictly. What could be afforded? Oh my god. What happened to Ronke? What happened See, to Ronke? Someone just called now that Ronke is behaving strictly. Yeah. See what this whole thing has cost. Can you see? How I see. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. I will see to that, sir. Elder, you have to get your doctor immediately. How? Oh. Tell him to come with an ambulance. Oh, God. Right away. Oh. Hello, Dr. Tadi. Yes. Uh, please come immediately with your ambulance and your boys. Be quick. This wrong guy is behaving strangely. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Pastor, oh. please. You go to the police station now uh -huh. and ensure the release of that young man. Please. I'll do that. Thank you. I'll do that. Oh, my God! Why are all this happening to me? Young man, the fact that you are okay? you must have been doing.
How is she? Well, she's getting better now. The doctor said she should be discharged in two days' time. She must have gone through a terrible psychological disturbance. I care less about that, Pastor. I did not bring up my children that way. That is what you chose. It is a choice. Elder, you must find a place in your heart to forgive this girl. <laughs> Pastor, can you imagine that embarrassment? See all my preparations towards that wedding. I was first upset when you declined conducting the wedding for us in the church. And I said, all right. All right that the family will make up a good arrangement with the reverend of one of my friend's church. Or that was still the wedding will hold in a neutral venue. But to now hear that she got pregnant for another man apart from the man she intended to marry. Oh, no. No. No, that is unacceptable to me. Unacceptable. Dr. Williams, your state of mind is quite understandable, but you must allow the Lord to heal the wound in your heart. All right, Pastor, all right, all right. One more important thing, Elder. Yes, Pastor. I don't like how you have left your wife alone to visit her in the hospital. That woman alone has been by her bedside and you have not yet paid one single visit to her bedside since she has been on admission for the past three weeks. Well, thank you for your concern, Pastor. Uh, I will find time to go and visit her in the hospital. By the way, didn't you say she could be discharged from the hospital in two days' time? My visit there then is unnecessary. No, no, it's, it's not late. Today, tomorrow, or any time. You must be careful not to let her feel rejected. Hasn't she made herself feel rejected already? See, she got pregnant for a man we know not. Who is Kinsley? Hey, Pastor, who is Kinsley? Elder, calm down. Calm down. It's no use being agitated. Look, she, she knows who Kingsley is. And by the time she's up on her feet, she will surely get him. I can't get my mind off what I did to that boy yet. I punished him unnecessarily. Have you called him yet? Yes, I got him once. He was so brief and so cold during the short conversation. I tried to apologize for the wrong maltreatment. Okay, I'll call him too. I'll call him. When I got him two times later, just to greet him, the phone was just ringing. Perhaps he refused to pick my calls. I knew I offended him. I offended him. Oh. Oh. Yes, hello, dear. Dear. Why are you taking this matter too far? Hey? Won't you come and check on this girl? Just for worms, eh? You are there with her. Of what use is it for the two of us to crowd ourselves in an hospital ward? Hey? Of what use is it? And moreover, I had to get him better already. So, will my visit give her quick recovery? But why are you talking like this? Why? <laughs> Listen, woman. How else am I expected to talk? Hey? How does a man talk whose daughter had decided to follow her husband to the altar with another man's pregnancy? You're just beating a dead horse. The deed is done. We can't undo it. Exactly. The deed is done. All the shame and embarrassment she has exposed me to before my colleagues and before the Church of God cannot be undone. Yes, the deed is done. Hmm. Then stop beating a person who has already fallen down flat on his face. What this girl needs now is love. Not until I know the man responsible for that baby in her womb. Elder Williams, don't take this matter too far. That girl is your daughter. What she needs now is love. Yes, she has done a very bad thing, but... Not bad, Pastor. But abominable! 
not only did she get pregnant before wedding as a supposed child of God, but even trying to take the pregnancy of another person to her husband's home. Attempted to lay a marital foundation of falsehood. Well, what we should be doing now is looking for ways to help her out of this situation. Remember, you are her father. She needs your love. And I still don't think it is fair leaving her mother alone to stay with her. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for your concern and love for my family. Thank you. What? I think I should be taking my leave now. Oh, all right. Thank you, Pastor. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You need to prepare for the prayer session. Won't you be coming? Uh, no, Pastor. I need some rest from all this stress. Now, Elder, are you not allowing this incident to weigh down your spirit? Uh, no, Pastor. <laughs> but I don't think you know what I'm passing through. I don't think you know how I felt before the church congregation who stared at one of their elders, whose daughter had chosen to walk the path of shame. And I am saying you should not become lukewarm because of what happened to your daughter. Eh, Elder Williams? Ah, no, Pastor. I am only expressing my feelings, so... And I am saying that you are taking these feelings far more than necessary. Now, you should not allow what happened to your daughter to take you away from the Lord, okay? Who's there? It's me now. Open the door. Oh. Jesus. You look unpleasant. Caleb, I didn't sleep through the night. Again? You need medical attention. No. I will soon come over it. Uh, I learned she's now getting better. And someone told me her mother's return to the hospital. But she refused to say a word. Oh, please stop that! Stop it! What is it? I was trying to tell you. Please stop that! Please! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, what's the matter? Nothing. I really just want to be bothered with that. You are still deeply hot inside, isn't it? Well, I can understand. Really? No! You don't understand how seriously confused and deeply wounded I am. Okay. Did a father or mom call? A father called. He tried to apologize. He called once or twice, but ignored the calls. Why? I'm trying to get on my shattered life. They are my past. Talking with him will open up a healing wound. I don't just want to have anything to do with the father or the daughter. You see, Kuli, marrying her is out of the point. But. I don't want you to allow any bitterness to reside in your heart concerning them. It will do you no good. Hmm. Ah! 
She was my first love. Hmm. I prayed. I waited. Or maybe I did not wait enough. I followed all necessary procedures. And I even thought being the daughter of one of the church elders would be a spiritual advantage. You see, you have to learn how to keep this behind you and move forward. Hmm. She tried. She played a game well. Got engaged to me. But see someone else. Got pregnant for another man. Try to push it on me. Can you imagine that type of wickedness? What a game. A perfect crafty game. I wanted to take her home that night by all means. But I couldn't just find the key to my car. I searched everywhere in this room. It was the next morning and I found it under this chair. Caleb, who threw it there? Uh -huh. She was a game master. Game master. <sighs> but that silly night with her removed all my defenses. <sighs> that's all right, that's all right, Kuni. If you keep looking back, you can't move forward. Caleb, if that is what the daughter of a church leader could do today, can we trust any sister? Ah, uh, no, 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 Kuni. You are taking this thing too far. If Ronke has done that to you, does it mean God does not have his daughters in his household? Hmm. Hey. Can you just imagine the humiliation I was subjected to in the police cell? What a horrible experience. You were there. You saw it all. Thank God for pastor that came for me. That's all right, colleague. What's the next move? Oh, kill it. I'm going forward. Thanks for your support. How about Mama? Ah, she's too surprised about the whole episode. But my father has put everything behind him. He told all his friends he initially invited for the wedding. That the wedding was cancelled because the lady got pregnant for another man. Just like that? Ah. My father is a straightforward person. My mother told her friend something else. She told them that the wedding was cancelled because the lady is a witch. Ah uh, ah! Uh. Are you surprised? Roka is everything you could call her. To me, she's a crafty, wicked seductress. <sighs> Okay. You want this? Hmm? Look who's it. Eh? What of tea? Should I prepare you some tea? Hmm? Okay. I have been sitting down here beside your bed since morning to show how caring we are to you at this time. I spoke to you. I asked questions. I even threw some jokes just for you to open up and say something. But all along, you have refused to talk to me. Mm. 
Okay. Don't you think we need to talk? At least talk about the way forward. Hey? The way things are now, okay? You've been thrown out of your job. And you carry in your womb a baby belonging to someone we know not. Hmm? Okay. Who is Kingsley? Hmm? Who is Kingsley? And what do you want to do now? <laughs> Look, Ronke, remaining speechless like this is not the best option for you. Anyway, doctor said we should come back tomorrow morning and pick you. Perhaps when you get home, you will say what's on your mind. So we'll come back tomorrow morning, okay? Went stumbling down, crashing into pieces. The glorious and enviable wedding I was looking forward to crushed before my very eyes. Kunetu was unjustly punished for the sin I deliberately made him to commit. And I lost him. Lost his love. Kingsley put me in this. Oh, I put myself in it. Because of my desire for fame and prestige. I will sacrifice my future on the altar of an employment. I'll try and go to the office on Monday. In fact, I've called my boss and you understand. Yes, Mom. What? Yes, Mom, I, I call you back. I'm sorry, I'll call you back. What is it again? What are you looking for here again? I, I was discharged from the hospital this morning. My mom came to pick me. And so? I have come to say I'm sorry. Did you just say you've come to say you are sorry? After the shame and embarrassment, plus all this punishment to expose me to. Sorry. Yes, because I know I've wronged you. Can you just imagine? You know you have wronged me. So your intention before was to go to the altar with me, with another man's child. Why are you so heartless? Why are you so wicked? Kunle, I'm sorry. Oh, what is your mission now? For me to accept you back into my life? No, I just come to say I'm sorry. Mm, listening to you is out of it. Stand up and leave my house. Please leave my house before other people begin to see you again. Leave. I will. At least you can read the handwriting on the wall. And please, I don't want to see you 
around me again. I know I don't deserve you. I know I've deliberately sinned against God and put you into sin. I know I've wronged you. But there is only one thing I ask from you. Please, forgive me. I've had leave my house before I lose my temper. Who is this? It's me. Who? 